this is just to show you guys a little something that I picked up recently. And anybody who's into collecting small curios, things in small jars, these are ideal. This is a spice rack. It's a very nice vintage. It's probably 1960s or 1970s based on the design. And this really nice work on the glass. It does need some work. I'm going to repair that. These are a little bit loose. You can see there that the it really needs to be glued down good so that these little glass panels don't come out. And it also came with all of the little bottles for the spice bottles, but they were not just flat clear, so I can't really use them for curios. They have a lot of twists in the glass, but those will be great spice jars. Now, this was $5.99 at a Salvation Army thrift shop and I thought that that was a really great buy for something like this a little dusty but everything would be cleaned it even has little hangers on the back as long as you're not putting something too heavy on there it should be fine you could also swap those out for a nice heavier container it's got a nice ledge on the front you can have bottles up top as well as inside and drawers if you want to keep documents and things like that with your collection. Now the real prize was this one here. This one also needs glue. The top bit here falls off and kept falling off but it shows the price that I paid for it. Three dollars at a yard sale and that was just spectacular. And the reason why it's so spectacular is that this is mirrored. Is a really nice mirrored unit. Put all sorts of things on those shelves. Nice clear glass door. This one is a lot sturdier made. This actually has screws instead of tacks. There's nothing going to rip this off the wall. That's really nice and sturdy. This one I'm going to use for my own personal curio cabinet with all my weird little oddities I've been collecting. And if I can find one here, I had laid it out. Things like this. That's my baby lobster that I found down on the beach. He's so cool. I don't think the camera's going to focus on him correctly, though. There you go. Baby lobster. Got all sorts of weird stuff I'm going to put in there. Like my human fetus that I made. It's out of polymer clay. That's going to go in there. Because it's really hard to obtain a real fetus and when you want one in your collection you might as well make it out of clay. I also have some hair and teeth and different different little oddities that I'm going to stick in here. That just gives you a quick little view of what this could theoretically look like when it's finished. So if you're looking for a really cool little curio cabinet of your own, go to every thrift store and yard sale that you possibly can because you never know what you are going to find.